Hey guys, welcome back. Icy Wolf here. Yeah. Uh, kind of in a different scenario today. We're playing here on our uh, Talama Monsters server. Um, yeah, uh, we are in the snow today because we need to hatch some Heroku. We uh, have one Heroku left. Uh, and if we lose him, we have no flying mount. Um, I've already kind of set up a thing here. Uh, it seems to be shifting and varying on what we need to. I got attacked by an RG just a little bit ago when I was uh, finishing my bagel. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty pretty obvious. It's too cold, so. Nope. There we go. So let's see if we can do a couple more of them. These two, obviously, no. I think this one's okay. That's incubating. Maybe I can throw one right there. Yep. Okay. Um, put some. Let's uh, get our our gun out really quick. Ooh, 210. Um, 190. Okay. We'll raise them all up because they're kind of like cannon fodder. They don't live very long. Make a try to hit J. Uh, 188. Still higher level than the one that we had we lost yesterday or the day before. Oh yeah, it was yesterday. We will eventually get a better flyer, but I don't want to focus on that. We have so many dragons in this mod that I think for a while it'll probably be dragon, dragon, dragon. Waiting six seconds. Just kind of do three at a time here. We'll take them back to the base and we will... You know, raise them up there. There's another one. Yeah, they're not very much over 200. His original level is 224, so... I think it's about all the best we can get. Let's see. It doesn't tell you on this, until, unless they're newborn hatched. Oh, looks like we got five left. Like they're all incubating. That one's too cold. We'll fix that. There we go. Very good. It's all of them, right? All right, come on, hurry up. Come on, guys. Ooh. Hey, we got a 224. I have no soul traps. Oh, crap. That's why I went and got the crystal. <laughs> um, I'll probably just leave this burning. Or leave it... Leave it sit here. In case I need to come back and... Hatch something else, because... This is not a bad area. Uh, like I said, I only got attacked by an RG, so. And you. Alright. So that was a good start of the video. Let's take them back to the base, and we'll get them started raising. And figure out what we're going to do from there. Alright, guys. We're bringing you back here uh, to... You know, we're going to throw out all these little Heroku. That's not a Heroku. That's a Terrorbird, but... Probably put you away. We can't lose the terror bird. It's it's our wood gatherer, and that wood's like really important. I mean, we can have the Galgarians out. Well, yeah, I guess so. Okay, so now we're I think we're at the Kuroku. Um, but I think I'm just gonna throw them out like a little bit right here, right here, right 
over here. We need is we need to get these guys all raised up, get them all uh, imprinted. They're a little faster, a little tougher. And I think it's the last one. Yep. Yeah. So we now have a little uh, <laughs> a little army of wyverns. They'll raise up. Um, it shouldn't take too long, actually. Yeah, they're raising really fast. And, uh, yeah, so I haven't done a whole bunch. I've just been really clearing out the area, uh, putting down foundations a little more, uh, uh, how do I say it? A little more strategically, I guess that's how you'd say it. So we don't have to worry about respawns and stuff. I haven't cleared out all the stones. I just kind of want to see how flat we have it, how good it is. It's a very, very flat surface. I mean, this is going to be flipping awesome. Um, really haven't... We need to build some foundations out of CKF. That's what our main building is going to be made out of. We're going to use CKF and Steampunk for, you know, different levels and stuff like that. So, foundation. Let's make 100 of those, can we? Oh, yeah, no duh. Now we can make 84 foundations. That's quite a bit. Uh, and I don't think I explained it very well yesterday how how the Blast Forge works. The Blast Forge is your very first piece of uh, steampunk that you'll craft. That way you can make uh, your glass panels. You know, put them in there. Make all the glass panels we need. Um, and... The first thing you construct, of course, is your coal. You need lots of coal, so wood is like a necessity in this mod. Um, so you make your coal, then, you, then you'll make your ingots, and then your coal and your ingots will then be used to make the smelted copper ore, which, along with the glass panels, makes your uh, copper panels, which are used for everything else. So it's... Uh, Pretty amazing. You you also have these d diamonds right here. They're not particularly used for a lot of things, but they are pretty important in in some ways. It's kind of trying to get these Heroku to uh, get imprinted. Um, so far I got a couple that want to go for a walk. Cuddle, cuddle. Uh, one of them already got a cuddle. Oh, that one needs to go for a walk. Uh, cuddle. <laughs> this is so hard. Cuddle. Walk. Walk. Done. Walk. Okay, this ought to be interesting. Come on, guys. <laughs> they are pretty adorable when they're small. They look a lot like the adult ones. I think they're all done. All done. Okay. Let's make sure we got everybody. That one wants to go for a walk. I think we might have gotten everybody. Come on, my dude. We're here with the walkers. Tell you all be that's how that's how I'll identify all of you guys. You guys wanted to walk, those ones wanted to cuddle. How far, dude? All right. Make sure, go back. Make sure there, there's. Okay. I think we got everybody. Just making sure. Yep, okay. 
put the well down. Eh. There we go. What matters is, is everything's irrigated? I guess. I don't know. It says it's irrigated. Yeah, I'll take a look at that later. Maybe I just need to make a, what do you call it? A cap. I've never really used one of these wells before, so. What's that? Everything filling up now? I have no idea. We will see, I guess. <laughs> it seems to be. See, that thing's filling up. A little bit out of time. I don't care. Uh, they all grew up. So, what we gotta do now is we got 224s the one we'll end up using gonna clean up all these guys there we go okay so we got those guys I already got this thing set up so it can generate poop and we will uh where are you? There you go. Our, our old boy. Put him away too. That way we can throw this guy out. Throw his. Uh, we take the rune off the other. Oh man, I, I don't think I took the rune off the other one. Right? Nope. Not a big deal. Oh, let's make the blue tranquilizers. Yeah. You can only make 30 of them. I was able to get a little bit more of the uh, narcotic made. Throw him away. I'm sure, this guy is a lot faster than our old one. Oh, yeah. Probably won't eat through stamina as fast. I'm doubting that, but. Okay. Here's that thing. Acid Rebellion. Where did the Stego go? I swear it was up here. Oh, wait. There it is. Okay, cool. Um, I wish it was back on top because that would have been a lot easier. But, um, blue arrows, I think that's what they're called? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See how effective these things are. That Stego just looks cool. That's the only reason. I mean, it's not too cool, crazy. Like, I guess it is a little more. That was a headshot. Okay. Let's go grab some Mijo berries and throw it on it. I don't know how much uh, care it's going to need. I don't remember if Stegos are very... Well, it's a modded one, too. At least we found it. We are our first arcane creature. Take a thousand of those for me, dude. See how much it takes to, uh... First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this. I'm, I'm learning very, very much that this is a very important thing, sometimes. How much? 80? We take 500. It seems to be gaming faster than it's, uh. 
Maybe. I don't know. Let's kind of watch that, I guess. Uh, so off to the desert. We haven't really explored the desert too much. It's kind of scary, but it's something we should do. So I think it's over this way. No, it's right that way. Yep. Okay, I'll bring you back when we get closer to the desert. It's going to be a little bit of a flight. All right, we're back. Um, already seeing some different stuff than we normally do. There's that razor tooth right there. I'm not really interested in taming one of those. That's I think it's a thing from Atlas. But it's different. This kind of reminds me of the little bit of a Ragnarok. What's that? Eurodemix. There's a Thyla. Oh, I, that's a bug. Just a minute. There's a plane going over my house. <laughs> That's unusual. Um, what's that? Eurodermix. Okay. That's it. again. That has that docile thing, which is interesting. A little bridge going in here. We've seen that before. Oh, what's that one? Feral. I don't know how I feel about that feral, docile type of thing. I I, I know it's to encourage you to uh, tame them another way, but I, I I don't I don't particularly care for it myself. But you know, it's in the mod. Ooh, what is it? Man, there's a lot of these bug guys out here. That one's feral. Feral. Yeah, some of these creatures, I'm, I, I, I'm not really looking for a max level creature, to be honest. Because, let me I'll be honest with you, I'm probably not going to use a lot of these creatures. What in the freaking world? Trace their ancestry to frost giants. This dragon blood rolls. That's from Atlas as well. Wouldn't take too much to knock him out. Get a lot of health for being a level 20. Um, flying around the desert. Searching for some stuff. Centaurs. You guys have any terror birds? They're good levels? Probably not. Who are you? Orthos. Hmm. Ooh. One of those uh, alicorns. Not a very decent level. That is a creature I'd like to get a decent level on. Yeah. Hmm. One second, I gotta land for a moment. I'll be right back. Doorbell's wired to my phone, so there's somebody at the door. There's Sor. Uh, what is that? Is that a kaiju? No, it looks too different. I've seen that in something before. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, this is pretty cool. What are those? Oh, it's just metal. Interesting. Good for them. Another arcane stego? Yep. Oh, 
Volanosaurs, because there's that special Volanosaur that we saw yesterday. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a Velo Hunter or something like that. That's interesting. All right, Stego's still doing okay. It's probably best that we're not in the area. That way, nothing comes after it. A what? Okay. Back in the desert. Let's see if there's anything worth taming out here. What is that thing? Dark smoke breath. Well, I might. He only has 9k torpor. That's about as much as the freaking. Yeah, let's do that. That's unique. Maybe. I'm hungry. Like, what? What's going on? Hopefully, he wins. Hmm. I might just wait for this guy to either win or lose to see what's going on, and I'll bring you guys back when. I make the decision. <laughs> I think he just won that. Actually, I might not even have to bring you back. Oh, shoot, he can fly. Of course he can. Oh, these arrows are pretty powerful against flyers. All right. Is it, what does it say he takes? What is his preferred? Cooked prime meat, cooked lamb chop. No. What in the... What? Oh, my God. Okay, um, campfire, what do we need for that? Flint, thatch, and wood, okay. Not a big deal, because there's lots of that stuff around here. Campfire. One of those, okay. I do have narcotic on me, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Looks pretty cool. Okay. We should be safe up here too. This is a good place to tame him. Well, it's not exactly what I thought it would be, but we are taming something different. Don't need that many. Or that many. Do that many. Okay. Throw that on there. Light it up. I think we should be able has its own saddle that can be learned at Engrams at level 50. I'm guessing this is from the Dragons mod. Because it has its own picture and it has details on it. The uh, other one doesn't really do that. Let me get in here. This is this is crazy. Man, oh man. Got some? Okay, cool. We're getting it. Oh man. 
we have been flying around literally for 40 minutes in the desert over that looking for for something to tame and i think we found something that might be a winner come on dude make it faster i'm not gonna put any on it until we have i don't know like eight maybe I didn't bring any lamb chop with me because I don't know where the lamb chop went. I think an ichthyornis picked it off me while I was uh, AFK. So that is disappointing. Man, oh man. I have to remember where this is. What was it? 38... 38.70? Yeah, we just got to remember 3870. Okay. I don't think there's anybody else on right now to respond to that, but uh, 3870 is... There we go. We can start taming it now. I'm sure it's not going to eat it all, like, right away. We might have to do is come back when he is almost tamed um yeah but we found something that's what matters right <laughs> uh i've been afk for a little bit and oh oh shit is he oh man Oh no, he tamed, okay. What in the world? Um, he's a thick boy. Okay, so he's a dragon. X C doesn't get any doesn't gather anything. Nope. There are like how much health does he have? Yeah, he's not very strong. Um okay. Well I'm gonna pick him up. We're gonna go back. We're not. We're not gonna do that. I pumped a couple, uh, po a couple of our uh, narcotics into him because I was. Uh, he was waking up. I'm not. I'm just getting. What in the world is that thing? Oh, okay. That's one of those dragon gods. Okay. I do remember seeing those in a uh, thing. Uh, what? Bahamut. The most forgiving of the black dragons. Passive tame. Wait, what can you tame him with? Mutagel. Element. Why is crystal like the... <laughs> okay. And Drake. Man, there are a lot of dragons. But I mean, this is that's what the series is all about. It's like all the mystical crap and and stuff. We got our first like dragon dragon. He's not powerful, but he's something. We're probably going to be attacked by this thing. Yeah. But if it's just like any other uh wyvern, you just fly through trees and crap. He's stuck on him. See? He gets distracted. What is that? An ogre. I think it's one of the bosses. I mean, it has a boss part, so it has to be one of the bosses. What is that thing? Red wyvern. 
King Queen this guy up and get the fights with Kalgolian. There are so many dragons. Let's go get our Arcane Stego. And, uh, yeah. Um, I got a lot of editing to do. <laughs> Throw him out. Throw our Stego out. I mean, I could test him without a saddle, so... Let's go test him out first. He flies really fast. Of course, he's a dragon. Um, we just got all those little dragons, too. I, d I did not want to do this today. <laughs> I did not want to tame another flyer, but it it's the only thing I could find. A uh, Stego saddle. Okay, cool. See, we can kill this guy right here. See, I don't know how strong. Yeah, he's not very strong at all. Our... But... Okay, so yeah, he does a smoke breath thing. This guy's definitely no powerhouse. Okay, so yeah, he does a little attack right there. Push C. This is not at all impressive. <laughs> I don't even know what he's called, it's like a smock or something like that, or... Goodbye. Lizzy. Dark smoke breath. Smoke's breath. Okay. He's fast, that's for sure. I can put movement speed into him too, unlike the, uh, little wyvern. I'm not saying he's, uh, replacing our little wyvern. Maybe, I don't know. Kind of want to go test this guy out. See if he does anything extra. Of course. Can you change his, uh... Sharpen plate. Pardon, I don't remember which one gathers. Okay. He might be better for gathering berries and stuff than our, uh... Terrorbird. Terror only gets like a one bush at a time, so everything might have a purpose, you know. I had to remember how to use a stego again. It hasn't really been that long. I mean, I think the last time I tamed a stego was crap Genesis, <laughs> Genesis two. I think I struggled then with the new form. So he doesn't. He doesn't seem to have any new abilities. That switches. X doesn't do anything. Control doesn't do anything. How much damage does he do? How much health does it have? Yeah, about 4,000. That seems to be like pretty good average for all of our creatures. That slows him. I think we're in heavy plate or something like that now. Sharp inflate. Let's let's see what that does. How much damage that does. I think you can impale him with this one. If he'd sit still. No. It's a standard stego. It just looks cool. I mean, I mean, it looks really cool. Let, let's be honest. It is very good looking. Yeah. Cool. So we tamed a dragon, 
and a stego today. Not nothing too crazy. Um, <laughs> we got some stuff done around the base too. I just gotta, I just gotta make fertilizer. Gotta do all that stuff now. So, next episode we'll probably have some crops. Um, that doesn't mean we'll be ready for veggie cakes. We still gotta get honey. Uh, I'm not really sure where to get honey on the map. Um, guess in the redwoods probably. And I apologize. Um, and I had to yawn for a minute. We had to, we have to get sap, so we have to make a trip over to the Redwoods any way we look at it. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, keep making that stuff. We're doing pretty good. I mean, soon we'll actually have a base, and that's what I'm excited for. I think we, we'll have a whole, we'll have a whole episode dedicated to that building building quite a bit of the base that's something i've kind of lacked on is building uh but yeah why is it like that oh yeah i died while i was uh oh afk from hunger <laughs> took forever to tame that guy i mean we're good we're good hours since uh I, I last cut off but uh yeah uh super 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 good episode Two new creatures to join the bunch. Uh, didn't really mean to tame two. These arrows are a little OP, but you know, they are what they are. I'm I'm probably not gonna use anything more than the blue ones because, you know, they're a little OP. But yeah, um, if you enjoyed this at all, please like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff. Hit that bell, you know. And uh, I'm Icy Wolf, guys. I'll be seeing you. Bye.